to say it again. This week's parasha is the proof that the Megillat Esther is divine. Megillat Esther, if you've noticed, you're going to read Bezat Hashem soon, even before the uh, study it, before Purim, so you know what they're talking about. Don't show up to Purim without knowing what's going on. At least read some commentary. This is very good. Art Scroll makes a very, very good uh, books in general. They're very good commentary. So, uh, anyway, Megillat Esther is a book that we consider divine, but it doesn't say Hashem's name in it. So how could it be divine and it doesn't have Hashem's name in it? So Parashat Kitisa has in uh, verse uh, chapter 30, verse 23, the Gemara says, where is, Mordechai in the, where is Mordechai in the Torah? Where is Mordechai mentioned in the Torah? Because you said that everything is in the Torah. We are, the Gemara already talks about, okay, there's Megillat Esther. But you, where is Mordechai in the Torah? The Gemara answers, Mordro. Mordro means pure myrrh. It's one of the incenses <coughs> that we used for uh, the, uh, the Mishkan. One of the burn incenses. One of the spices, I'm sorry, one of the spices that we make, that uh, Moshe was commanded to make for the uh, for uh, the, the incenses. The anointment oil, not the uh, burning offering. The anointment oil to uh, to make someone a Kohen or uh, to make someone a king and so on. The anointment oil. So this is one of the spices that Hashem specifically told him to use. Pure myrrh. Mordrol. Okay. As all of you heard before, there's something called codes, Torah codes. Right? Torah codes, even though we discovered, in essence, or understood how to figure them out in the last generation, the Gemara is already telling you that they knew about it already 2,000 years ago. With, with, the, Nazis, with the Nazis. and Right, with the Nazis, with Rambam, with, uh, <coughs> all the, with the Holocaust, all types of codes. Torah codes where you take... You look for a specific word. Let's say you look for Hitler. <coughs> okay? You want to find Hitler. So the uh, computer program will look for the word Hitler by using a uh, formula where it's separating each one of the letters by a common number. So, for example, if it's in English, it's not in English, it's in Hebrew. But just to give you an example so you understand, H and then, let's say, seven letters. I, seven letters. T, seven letters. It has to be a common space. Same space. It can't be eight, seven letters. I, 87 letters. T, 13 letters. That's not, that's not a formula. That's just, you're, you're just making stuff up. So it has to be a equal seven mathematical seven. skip between each letter. So you see that there is a design behind it. Pattern. What do we find in this verse, chapter 30, verse 30, verse 23? In the word Mordro, in pure murder that the Gemara mentions. Mordro, it's two words, Mordro. First letter is Men. If you count 12,196 letters, you get to Resh. You count another 12,000. 196 letters. You get the Dalit and you spell Mordechai. Now I just told you some of the best codes is seven letters. 49 letters, not 12,196. That sounds like you're creating something. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a little far. Away. Okay, it's not like Hitler code. It's not like Rambam code. It's not like these other ones. They have only seven skips, 49 skips small. So you see that there's it's in the same page, even. 12,196 letters. It's different chapters, Bechal. What's this 1,296? Ah, okay, you're creative, nice. Okay, it happens to be men. What's the big deal? What's the amazing thing about this? Now, obviously, you know, the Torah was written 3,300 years ago, over 3,300 years ago. The Mikilat Esther is well over 1,000 years later. Right? So at the time we had the Torah, 
Megillat Esther did not exist. Right? Megillat Esther, how many letters does it have? Total Megillat Esther has exactly 12,196 letters. Exactly the number of skips between each letters of the word Mordechai in the Torah. And the same exact thing is for Esther. Esther, Megillat Esther, Esther, also you find it in the Torah, 12,196 letters. Esther is in the parasha, I said, Esther, Esther, Panai. Hashem's hiding his face, he's hiding from us. 12,196. We are, not only did Hashem already know about the Torah and Mordechai, he knew exactly how many words you're going to put in it. But he's going to hide. He's going to hide in plain sight. You just have to know how to do it. The Gemara already knew. The people of the Gemara, the sages of the Gemara, that everybody doesn't understand, thinks just a local rabbi from Chabad. <laughs> you know, not to, dis, not to disrespect Chabad. I'm just saying, just they think a person from Chabad today is not like the Rabbi Akiva. Any rabbi today is not like Rabbi Akiva. <clears throat> All the rabbis today together are not like Rabbi Akiva. So... People of the Gemara, people say, nah, some rabbis wrote it. They already told you, listen, we already know Torah codes. You're going to find it by looking at these specific words. Mordechai, that's where you're going to find the Torah code for Mordechai. That's where you're going to find Mordechai that lived over a thousand years after the Torah was written, 1,500 years later even, after the Torah was written, that's where you're going to find it. You see, the Torah has things that are beyond, beyond something that a human being could have ever written. 